हेलो स्टूडेंट टूडे इज लेट्स एक्सप्लोर लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म इन मैट लैब ए टूल दैट सुपर इम्पॉर्टेंट इन कंट्रोल सिस्टम्स एंड अदर एरियाज इन दर्ल्ड ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड मैथ लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म इज लाइक ए सुपर हीरो हेल्पिंग अस अंडरस्टैंड ट्रिकी सिस्टम्स वेन वी टीम इट अप विथ मैट लैब इट बिकम्स ए डायनामिक डुओ making it easier to model simulate and analyze all kind of things so let's discover the magic of laplace transform and matlab so here we talk about only the laplace transform so laplace transform converts the differential equation of a dynamic system into algebraic equations of a complex variable that is s the syntax for using the laplace transform in matlab is so this is the syntax that we are using in the matlab so this is the laplace in bracket function in time domain so just we use this command in matlab we can easily find the laplace transform of any time domain system now the command which are used in getting the laplace transform of the systems so this is the basic syntax here you can see we are use seems that t t is the variable f equal to function in t and finally we use that command that we are generally use to perform the laplace transform is laplace of any function so here we use the f to denote the function of the t so that's why we write here laplace of f here what do we mean by the seems so seems list the name of all symbolic scalar variables functions matrix variables matrix functions and array in the matlab workspace so these are the example this is the basics function generally we are used or we can remember the formula of the laplace terms that is f t equal to t square that is 2 by s cube sin t e to the power minus t cos t and e to the power minus a t so we directly use this functions in the matlab and try to find the laplace by using the command okay so these are the basics so initially we start with the basics functions then and here you can see this is the matlab code we will simulate in the matlab environment so this is the here you can see that initially we starting with the ft equal to t square this is the code matlab code when you just write the code and try to find the output you can directly get the 2 by s cube so this is the basics so lastly here we take three different type of function so here you can see first function is ft equal to 50 plus 16.67 e to the power minus 2t plus minus 66.67 e to the power minus 0.5t and second this one is the second and we take third one this okay so let's go to the matlab environment uh, software so here you can see this is the uh, entire matlab space so here this is a current folder name and this is workspace and this is the command window so first we try to create a new script so we, we create the new script so first is we are try to find the laplace of t square okay so we are writing the syntax s y m s and we have variable that is t let's take function f equal to t square so function is t square so we have to write t and square so this is the t square then we just use the command that is the laplace so here laplace of f okay now just click the run button so you have to save this code so i am saving as q2 okay so it is running so here so here you can get the answer of the t square so laplace transform of the t square is 2 by s cube so it takes only a fraction of second to get the laplace of any t domain signal okay so here you can see now we are trying to find 
the laplace transform of the sin t so system will be the t q only the variable is the t so now we try to find the laplace of the sin t so laplace of the sin t will be 1 by a square plus 1 so now so here you can see the function is the sin t and its laplace transform is 1 by a square plus 1 now we try to find the laplace transform of e to the power minus t so just change the function so e to the power minus t means exp e to the power minus t minus t okay so now just run the program you can easily get the laplace transform of the e to the power minus t so here you can see 1 by s plus 1 now we we try to find the laplace transform of e to the power minus a t so you have to remember so here the variable is the t and here is when we try to find the variable um, try to find the laplace transform the e to the power minus a t so here also one variable is there that is the a so you have to just define the variable as a so e to the power a star t so laplace transform of the e to the power minus a t will be 1 by s plus a so now run this program so here you can see answer will be the 1 by s plus a so this is the basics why i am writing the function of t that is 50 plus 16.67 star multiplication of e to the power minus t e to the power minus t means exp minus 2 multiplication of t minus 66.67 star multiplication of exp minus 0 0.5 star t so just write the function and use the command the laplace you can easily find the laplace transform any complex function within a fraction of time so just you have to remember this command that is the laplace and just define the variables so now i am trying to run this program here you can see so here this is the Lab, uh, this is the Laplace transform of the following function. The second example is f t equal to 1 by 9 e to the power minus t minus 1 by 9 e to the power minus t cos 3 t. Okay. So, so I am writing the function f equal to 1 by 9 star e to the power minus t. So, exp of minus t. Okay, so I am taking extra bracket because I am differentiating this function from the other one minus 1 by 9 star e to the power that is the exp of minus t into cos of 3t. So cos of 3t means 3 star into t. Okay, I am going to take one extra bracket and finally we have to write the laplace laplace of f just run this program and you will get the laplace transform of these functions f so laplace transform of the function will be 1 by 9 into s plus 1 minus s plus 1 divided by 9 into s plus 1 whole square plus 9 okay now coming to the third example so third one is the so here you can see third one is the f t equal to t star exp minus 2 star t okay plus 8 star t star 8 star t star exp minus 2 star t minus 3 star e to the power sorry exp minus t 
So these are the fun. This is the function. Okay. So three e to the power minus two t plus eight t e to the power minus two t minus three e to the power minus t. So we have to find the Laplace transform of these functions. So just run this program. So here you can see three by s plus two minus three by s plus one plus eight by s plus two whole square. So within a fraction of time, you can easily find the Laplace transform of the systems. Remember these uh, functions, uh, this command, and also remember this syntax or commands. Then you can easily find any any functions Laplace transform. So next video we try to solve the inverse Laplace transform. Okay. Till then, tata bye bye. Thank you.